Hi everyone, Katie de Montana here, and I've got another Blu-ray to unbox, and I am so surprised that I got this. This is Meg 2, The Trench. This is a, this is a sequel to the first movie. Now, if you actually probably know that in the first one where they actually stopped the Megalodon shark, this time there was actually another one on here. And probably like more, not just that, but there's also like giant other creatures that are on there too. Now, I've actually watched this on solo movies, a cam version and normal, and I quite like it. Until when I heard when they announced that they were releasing this on Blu-ray, I actually saw the standard one, which is not a combo pack, which I'm really disappointed. But, I actually found out that there's, there was a Steelbook exclusive at Walmart, which is this one right here, that I got off of eBay. So yeah, so the way you could tell that this is actually the Steelbook exclusive, because you could tell by the looks of that. Now, I'll probably actually do some explainings about the Steelbook exclusive, so, yeah, I actually got this off of eBay, because when I was trying to get it off of, get it in the Walmart store or Walmart's website before grabbing the first one, they were gone, fast. So, I was actually a bit slow. But, if you've actually seen the unboxing of the first one, I'll put the link down below. Now, Now this is actually with this is with the same actors and stuff, and that's when they're trying to take care of the, another megalodon shark. But I really love the opening in the movie when it actually starts off when it starts off around 65 million years ago, the time of the, the the time of the dinosaurs, and that one megalodon shark actually killed a T Rex. Wow, and I mean wow. So yeah. Now let's take a good look at this. Here's the front, and it looks really nice, and there's the dog from the first movie. And here's the spine, and the back. Look at that. And it says, back for seconds. Get ready for the ultimate, or something, rush, as John, Jason Tyler, Jones Tyler, Jason, and, and Jimmy Sung, Wing Jing, lead a daring research team to a high sketch battle for survival against massive megs and ruthless plunders of the deepest depths of the ocean. Oh yeah, so there's there might be more than one megalodon shark and some other creatures. And it's something, and it says the trench. I believe it's something about the marina trench, I think. Now, let's get this open. Ooh, okay. Hang on, let me try to rip this like that so it would be a lot easier to get it off. Now, I'll probably tell you about the good and the bad things about steelbooks. First off, let's get this off. So this is actually one of those... Oh, <laughs> my bad. I just accidentally hit the the cardboard, <laughs> the, the camera. So this is like the this is the one that was actually attached, just like the same thing with the Sailor Moon ones that I have. Now, first off, there, let's check out the back, and it says, Shark Sight Today. Now, the good and the bad things about the steelbook. So let's get this open. Alright, oh, first off, let me get this out. There's one of the digital copies. Now, first off, okay, so, so here's the, here's the inside, so there's the DVD disc and the Blu-ray disc. Now, I really love the way how the colors really look. Green and blue. I love it. Good job, Warner Brothers. Now, the one the one thing, let's start off with the things that I don't like about Steelbooks. You see, if you actually look closely here, if any of you actually are new to this, you can tell that the discs are actually like that because the DVD disc is here and the Blu-ray disc is here. That's the one thing that I really don't like much about. But the good thing about these Steelbooks here is, let me get the DVD disc out. Okay, everything's good is that, that these steelbooks actually has nice back art. So here's a, here's the, uh, here's a nice awesome back art of, of Jonah Jones actually gained away from the jaws of the Megalodon shark. And you might wonder if there's something that's actually a whole thing. Look at that. Nice. So yeah. So, so but if you actually like compare this with the, with the actual cases, let me grab one as an example after I put these discs back. And you see, for there are, I I always stick with the Blu-ray, the Blu-rays that actually has actual case that actually has 
actual cases like like any other movies like here's an example Godzilla vs. Kong this is actually a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack which is actually in a slip cover because this is the actual case and, and see how where the discs are at you see that the discs are actually in their individual spindles DVD disc on the on the left Blu-ray disc on the right but as for the steelbook ones, they're, all the discs are actually on here, so it's almost like a stacked up sort of thing. But it's just that it would have been great if they were actually like, they would have, I mean, Warner Bros. would have actually stick with the Blu-ray DVD combo packs for these standard cases. I mean, come on, I actually have the Target exclusives of The Flash and, and Blue Beetle, which they are Target exclusives. I mean, seriously, I actually did notice that Warner Bros. stopped doing the Blu-ray DVD combo packs since the start of the Summer, which I'll talk more about when I get some of the others. And believe me, because I'm telling you this, Warner Brothers, one of your movies could be my very last I'm going to be getting if you don't stick with the Blu-ray DVD combo packs. Anyway, so I think that that actually concludes the Meg 2, the Trench. Oop. Is it... Yeah, hang on. I don't think it's actually closing all the way, but hey, I think I think it's actually perfect. <laughs> well, part, maybe I'll actually get rid of the cardboard here or just keep it, but let me attach this back on so that way you all know that this is an actual Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. <laughs> yeah. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like, send some comments, and hit the bell button for brand new videos, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, everyone. Bye.